Hello, hello everyone. So today I am uh, planning my faith spread. I This is actually my first time doing a faith spread in a planner rather than in like a notebook with a dot grid. So I wanted to give this a try um, and it's actually for the week of November 1st through the 7th. Um, but I wanted to give this a try because um, I thought that it would bring you know, faith to the forefront of my mind and um, really implement something that I'm doing every day instead of just on Sundays and like Wednesdays. Um, I pray every day and I actually read scripture and do devotionals in the mornings, um, but I'm not really reading scripture really like seeking it out and reading it every day. And I also just want a place to like reflect and write my prayers or whatever it may be that I feel like focusing in on. Um, so just so to bring more consistency. Um, so yeah, we had a wonderful, wonderful message. Uh, well, we're in a series right now called Brainstorm. And it's basically about the ways at church, this is at church, um, it's basically about the ways that um, your brain uh, produces these like thought patterns and how to change those thought patterns to make your life better um, and to like make your walk with Christ um, the forefront of your life instead of like, you know, secular or like worldly things that um, a lot of us get caught up in. It's just so easy to get caught up in like materialism, gossip, um, different things. Um, I'm sure, you know, there are any number of flaws that we all may have, but um, this is just a way to like change your thought patterns um, and it's based on like science actually. <laughs> so that's what I love about um, the church that I go to is um, they're very um, open-minded and also um, as traditional as some of the values may be, um, definitely they look at things from a stance of like the real world. It's not just, you know, reading scripture from like ages ago and they're actually like taking that scripture and like applying it to today's real world. So, um, yeah, I really like that. And, um, he's just, uh, my pastor has been talking a lot about how, your neurons, you know, how they, how that affects like your thoughts and your uh, behaviors and everything. So it's just very, very interesting for one. Um, and I think it's like very applicable, applicable. Uh, I think pretty much anyone could use this information. Um, even if you are not super, um, religious, this is information that you could use to change your, like if you have an addiction for instance. And so that's what I found this so interesting, I guess, um, is because like I've already sort of done this without knowing that I have done it as far as like changing patterns. Um, so when I, you know, was getting sober, there were so many changes I had to go through and it was really hard to make those changes, the, the lifestyle changes that, um, breaking those habits and those like thought processes. So anyways, um, I just find it very interesting. And so I want to, bring, you know, scripture and like just, um, prayer into my everyday. So that's my soapbox. <laughs> just telling, just trying to kind of fill you guys in on why I'm doing this. So, but, so I'm now doing a uh, faith spread and I'm using, um, this is the marble faith book that just came out, which I really love. And I really also wanted to use this book. Um, haven't used it yet. So, um, and then I'm, I'm grabbing florals from Caliba Plans, Art, Roy G. Biv, one of the Roy G. Biv books. It's volume one or volume two. Um, so yeah, and these are sort of, sort of like wintry florals. They're, um, there's like pine, like pine needles in them. So I thought it would, would look really good. And the pinks, the blush will look really good with these stickers. So yes. So just adding some boxes. I have this um, tracker over in the sidebar that I'm going to use. And I don't know why I'm so out of breath. Probably just because I was talking so fast just now and trying to explain to you guys. Um, I don't know. These topics are just kind of hard to explain sometimes if you're not like well versed in, you know, ministering. So, um, 
just adding some florals and I wanted to like put those florals up against the edge so I could have more room to write in the box there but I'm um, also I'm still going to do my spreads for church which I do um, basically like a journal spread and then I take notes at church and then um, I also on that same page will like sometimes like reflect on whatever the applications that I could use in my own life so I'm, I'm still going to do those um, just because there's just not enough room <laughs> in this one to do what I want to do and then also that so I'm not trading it in. I'm just, um, and I don't, I can't remember the last time I posted one of those, but, um, they're just really personal. So it's just hard to, um, it's just hard for me to post something so personal. And I don't know, I feel like once you like blur it out, it just doesn't look as good. And if I do a before the pen, it's very minimal because I use all, mostly I use it for writing. So there's just not a lot of decoration sometimes. So Anyways, this will be fun to add to my lineup. So I've actually taken some things away. I don't know if um, you all caught that, but um, I have not been using my wellness for, I think last week was the only week I didn't use a wellness. And um, I've, I don't know. I'm thinking to keep up with like my habits in my bullet journal. I'm just not sure yet. I think I want to start doing that next month, but I was just feeling a little overwhelmed with all the stuff I had going on for planning, and I was like planning more than I was actually doing, so um, I just thought to drop the wellness and the journal, and so in the journal's place um, using this because I just feel like it's more important, and then I have a journal in my bullet journal, so I just, that was redundant, having two was really redundant, so I've replaced the journal with this faith journal and then I just I'm taking a break from the wellness right now just because I don't know it's things have become such a habit for me as far as like drinking water and um, getting exercise I mean I don't do it as much as I was when I first started my wellness planner but it's become habitual in a sense that I'm thinking about it and doing it when it needs to be done um I used to do it like five days a week and now it's like I go, I do cardio like a couple days a week, two, three days a week right now. And I, I do need to do more, but, um, the planner just was, wasn't really serving the purpose I needed it to, if that makes any sense. So, um, it wasn't exactly helping me to go walk or exercise or anything. Um, but I may pick that back up. I may pick that back up. And after the holidays is what I'm thinking that I may pick that one back up. So, but I'll let you guys know. So I'm just adding some, um, some little bouquets and just a few little touches. It's nothing, um, extravagant for this spread. I just wanted to kind of like leave plenty of room for writing. Um, I did want it to be pretty though. Um, and inspirational. So I kind of wish I would have thrown like a couple more quotes on there. Um, there's, there are a few quotes, but I kind of wish I'd like done, but then there wouldn't have been enough room to write. So that's the thing that was sort of my conundrum was like, I, if I wanted it to be more decorative, um, but then it's not as functional. So I, I don't know. I try to meet in the middle, you know, I try to meet in the middle. I try to always do that. Sometimes I'll get carried away and have like a really decorative spread that I, you know, and it seems like I still have room to write in those, especially if, like if it's a slow week or something. But um, sometimes I like under decorate, and then I don't, and then I have a slow week, and it's like okay, well I could have done a little more, but um, yeah, I try to meet in the middle. This book is really pretty. Um, it has the gold foiling, but I like these new faith books. I, I haven't been able to find the other one. I didn't order it from the Happy Planner to begin with because. Um, I don't know. I just thought I would get it for half price at Hobby Lobby on a discount, but they don't have it in store and they don't have it on their website. So I guess I'm just waiting around and now it's sold out on the Happy Planner site. Um, it's the call, it's called like Be the Light, I think, or Walk by Faith maybe. Um, but it has some really pretty fall colors in there. So I don't know what happened. Like, how did it sell out? How did it sell out so fast? on the Hobby Planner's website and also Hobby Lobby. What's up with that? It's supposed, they're supposed to carry it and they have a lot of the new stuff, but just they don't have that one yet. So 
Um, just waiting on that one. But um, I do like these new faith um, books. I, I think they do have like, okay, here's the th my thing about the faith books. Um, I feel like they have too many icons, but it's just my opinion. So I'm pretty much done with this spread. So thank you all so much for watching and I hope you'll join me again. All right, bye.